I'm boxing in one of the biggest YouTuber events in history. The only problem is, I've never boxed before. I've only got a little over a month left to train for this event. In that time, I need to learn how to box. Absolutely train my Taylo off. And craft the perfect Pokemon themed ring gear. Oh, no way. To be ready to fight for mental health awareness. Crank Gameplays versus Leonhardt. Oh, and did I mention? I'm finding my good friend Crank Gameplays. Plus, Ethan and I decided bragging rights isn't enough. At the end of this video, you'll see the insane stakes we're putting on this battle. If I win, I think that you should have to do something publicly embarrassing. Oh no, I don't like where this is going. Round one, fight! The Creator Clash 2 will take place on April 15th in Tampa, Florida. Last year's event was a massive success all around. The Creator Clash, where all of your favorite content creators will be settling their differences, not with a camera, but in the ring with gloves on. I was hooked to my screen the entire time that it was on. Now, how did I end up on the card for Creator Clash 2? Well, I should have kept my big mouth shut. My name's Leonhardt, and this is my pop-up shop. The event was put on by Real Good Touring, the same group that did my pop-up shop last year. So naturally, after the Creator Clash, I sent a friendly congrats email. Having no idea, I just talked myself into live combat. So now I find myself here at Maple Avenue Boxing Gym every day. My coach, Tony, has been showing me the ropes. Ah, he love it. He's coming back and coming back here, so uh, I can't do nothing but give him what I got. Tony's amazing. He's kind of like a, don't dump like a grandpa, but in a good way. That can beat you up really bad. <laughs> training with Tony for three months now. Right now, he's got me doing heavy stretching, running, and shadow boxing. Plus, I put on the wraps, he wears the mitts, and we get in the ring for three minute rounds, simulating what it will be like in the actual match. This training has been extremely difficult, and sometimes I can't believe just how far Tony has pushed me. This is a tough one. Yeah, we got it. It's so grueling, but what's honestly got me so nervous is this week. This is the week I get in there and get punched in the face. For real. Just arrived at the gym. Today's gonna be the first day that I get hit in the head. Not gonna be fun, but I do have this. You're gonna protect me, right? Right? It's a complete game changer. Stop that. Stop that. Once I finally got a punch landed on me, it definitely shocked me. Stop but that. It got me ready for what's to come. Stop that. We'll keep on going. Stop that. We good. Yeah. Yeah. So the confidence was a little Stop lost, that. but it's back. Doing some training, practicing the motion. Ellery's helping out, right? Training's going really well so far, but the cardio aspect of this is something that I knew you had to be tough, but my goodness, and I love my desserts. But I will say this, this has been going very, very well, and I can't wait for Ellery to hopefully see me come out with a win on the big day. Right, Ellery? Say hi. Good day today. Definitely feeling the shot from the other day right here, uh, but overall, it's going well. At least I think. You beat the judge. I felt like I needed to get a better sense of what the heck I've gotten myself into. I'm so excited to see you in this. So I put in a call with Graham Stephan, the YouTube real estate guru who participated in last year's Creator Clash. Graham's a man of the people. He's probably made most of the people he's given fist bumps to thousands of dollars. <laughs> I was scared of for real. I never liked for real. So being in that sort of environment, really into that year. Yeah. I didn't realize how soft you get. Like just, just being out there for two minutes, it's it's a full body workout. In hindsight, I should have trained more mm -hmm. and I should have uh, done more smart. My friend Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps also fought on last year's card. Folks, the Game Grumps are in full attendance. This year, the confidence is coming from a, like a place where I know where I'm at. Yeah. As opposed to just like, whatever, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna do my best. Yeah. And but now it's like, okay, I think I'm in a good place mm -hmm. in my training. So it's, it's weird. I'll probably be a little more nervous this year than I was last year. 
five rounds. Here we go, heavyweight matchup. What should I expect the weekend of? Yeah, everybody's gonna want your attention. Whatever you do to get yourself in like a zen place, just do that. Because I mean, it's like, at that point, it's just like the fight's coming. Oh, oh right wow. off the rip. Good luck with your training. Thank you. As I'm training, I think back to my time on American Ninja Warrior. Three more ninjas hit the course. Lee Steinfeld is better known as YouTube sensation Leonhardt. His YouTube channel has half a billion subscribers who watch him open packs of Pokemon cards. Uh-oh, he's got a rare one in there, man. But now, I'll be in actual hand-to-hand -hand combat against another person. It feels like this is the culmination of my fitness journey. From being a kid who struggled with weight, to giving consistent exercise a try in college, to now where I'm somebody who works out religiously, but this is a whole new ball game. When I first learned I was doing this, I was terrified. I might not even be able to see my opponent in the ring. At the time, I wanted to get LASIK surgery, but then I found out I wasn't a candidate. As the event drew closer, I started to get worried my time in the ring would look like this. Luckily, I heard about ICL, a surgery that permanently places contacts in your eyes, which I got done here. Now that I can see, I've just got to make sure I'm ready both physically and mentally for the big day. But I have to remember, I'm not going to be alone in that ring. Let's talk about my competition. What is up, my cranky crew? Ethan Nestor, better known as Crank Gameplays, was part of the iconic YouTube channel Una <laughs> But he's more than that. Ethan is an incredibly talented content creator and creative mind with a passionate community of his own. He's also a former gymnast, so I know I'll be in the ring with a legit athlete. I have a fun little surprise from a YouTuber that a lot of you probably know of. Oh, and did I mention we're old friends? You know who it's from, my boy, Leonhardt. Cool, I'm so nervous. First How does edition. it smell? Man, it smells like 2000. I even went to his live tour show. Ethan already announced his involvement in Creator Clash 2 over on his channel. I know he's really excited for us to do this together, and I mean, win or lose, at least I know I'm still the king of pack pulls. Charizard V Max Charizard. <laughs> uh, maybe. So yeah, he's not just my opponent, Ethan's a good buddy, and that's led to some really fun trash talking on social media. Ethan even made a reaction video to my training. Mm-hmm. That's looking pretty good. Dude, this is legitness. This man is spry for his age. He's full on sprinting up this hill like it's nothing. All jokes aside, hitting someone who's your friend, I'm not used to that. I'm freaking apologizing to my coach, Tony. I hit him too hard, I'm like, I'm sorry. Getting to the actual ring and fighting someone who's your friend, that's something I'm not used to, but I'll be ready. And I know that Ethan's training very hard as well. I think this is one of the most underrated fights that's gonna be taking place at Creator Clash. Right, Archie? <laughs> he agrees. And let's not forget, this is all for fun, and more importantly, for charity. Last year's Creator Clash brought in over a million dollars for these charities. All the profits are being going to charity. Yeah. Yes. Is there like a payday in the future you guys are working towards? No, not really. I'm so excited to be fighting on behalf of NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. An organization, as you know, I've already raised close to a million dollars for. And if I'm going to represent my favorite charity, you know I gotta look good doing it. 
Hey man, how's it going? For this event, I wanted custom Pokemon themed ring gear. Hey Lee, so what are you thinking for this design? Boxing, Hitmonchan, gotta go with it, right? To have this gear made, I went with a boxing designer named Future. He's done work in the past for big names like filmmaker Michael Bay. I'll drop a couple short ideas and maybe even like a rope and we can go from there. That sounds good with me. Got you, brother. Let's make it happen. I told Future my idea and when he sent back the mock-up, I was floored. Let me go, go ahead and show you a couple of things that I've drawn out. Right? Oh, no way. <laughs> my gosh, that is so cool. short. And here we go. Oh, no way. Yeah, I think that's gorgeous. I'll be rocking this killer Hitmonchan inspired design from Future. The mock-up looks so cool, and I'm honestly so excited for you guys to see the final product on Fight Night. Come on out, Hitmonchan! Hitmonchan! Speaking of you, I choose you, the Heart Squad, to be in my corner on Fight Night. I really hope you'll tune in for Creator Clash 2 to support me or maybe even be there live on April 15th in Tampa. The event will stream live and you can get tickets to watch it on thecreatorclash.com. All right, 20,000 fans live in attendance. Hundreds of thousands more watching around the world. Two friends squaring off. There's only one thing left to raise the stakes. Ethan, we got about a month and a half left till the fight. I think we should set some stakes. So, if I win, I think that you should have to do something sort of publicly embarrassing. Um, okay. So, I think that you should go out to, like, the mall or something like that. Oh, no. Uh, and I think, because don't you have, like, a big, you have a big Charizard card or something like that? Yeah, I don't like where this is uh, going. Uh-huh. So, you could sort of wear that. And then go through the mall, uh -huh. just like handing out oh, gosh. Pokemon cards. No, I'm confident in my abilities to win this match. I will be handing out base set packs. If I do win, will you let me know what mall you're going to <laughs> That covers you. Yes. Stakes have been set for myself. But Ethan, I know you have some tattoos. Is that correct? This is correct. And I don't like where this is going. I say that if... I win. You have to get a tattoo of a Pokemon. The Pokemon is going to be... Yes? Provo Pass. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah? Can I choose the design of the tattoo? Yes, I'll, I'll allow that, because this is going to be something permanent that you are more than likely going to be getting, because, you know, I'll be winning. But. Well, <laughs> we'll see who's going to be at the mall. <laughs> and and out Pokemon cards very soon. Okay, this is the shaking of the hands? The shaking of the hands. Perfect. 